Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, yesterday I was told I look like Luigi just because I'm a bean and I'm wearing green means I'm Luigi. But aside from that, remember we're doing a Mother's Day giveaway on Pancho's Toxic, guys. Make sure you guys do check that out. And let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... Never realized how long the outro was left to playing while I wiped it and just kept going. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to be talking about, did you guys see with Miss Melody Sita? Now, if you guys didn't see with Miss Melody, she spilled the cheese man over on TikTok Live. Now, it appears that she was calling on Mr. Arnoir because she was fed up, that he was saying that he was hitting it from the back, that he saw her a month ago, yada, yada, yada. And she had this to say. My Melody now, responds to Arnoir. Melody responded to Arnoir and she had this to say. Like, say, yeah, it was literally like this little. So what is he talking about? Dude. Like, he just has to use me for, like, to get his views, because solo, no creo. Pobrecito. I kind of feel bad for him. Like, where's his mom? His mom needs to go take care of him. And then all her kids, because she did not educate them good. Y que me vengan a mandar mensaje, porque yo con gustos lo recibo. Just kidding. I'll, you'll get blocked. Like, he was like, the only time I hit her was when I hit it from the back. Like, bro, like this? Like, no, you cannot. Like, no, you did not. It was, oh, like, oh, oh. that's embarrassing. And it's funny because he still denies it. Like, he's like, no, I didn't hit her. Like, bro, I pulled out all the screenshots, like, with my bruises. Bro, that was me lying to my mom. Like, no, no, I didn't. Like, bro, yeah, you did. I got it, you got muy feliz. I swear. Guys, okay, let me tell you guys something else. Like, when I was with him, like, bro, like, my anxiety would just always come because he would always, like, just stress me. And like do stuff. Like say like say yeah, it was literally like this little. So what is he talking about? When he like when I would be with him, like he would just like give me anxiety because like I would think like and look you guys, I'm so toxic, but cause that's how I would find my stuff. Like like okay if, if you girls don't look Bro, why are you sending me roses? <laughs> Melody speaks about being prego. No, I was that. never pregnant with him. He swears. Asko. He swears, bro. He needs to go get someone else pregnant. And then he swears, like, would you be with someone that disrespected your mom? Like, bro, after I beat your mom's ass, like, you still got in my car and was begging me. Guys, like, even when I went to Peñasco, he was begging me, blowing up my. Guys, he even called me on the phone. Like, I was with my friend and she was, he was like, he was like, oh, you're gonna be with me. He's like, quieras o no, like, a huevo. Like, bro, chill. I do not want to be with you. Like, you're going to hit me. Nah. Like, bro, chill out. I don't want to be with you. He was like, oh, a huevo. Or watch what's going to happen or something like that. Like, oh, I'm scared. Please, no. Guys, he even told me the next guy I date to watch what he's going to do. Zobai! Now, before we even get started on that, I never felt so offended. But do you feel me? And I just want to clear one thing because sometimes I go on people's lives when they're smoking the cheese, man. I send roses. This isn't me sending roses because I want to get at them. This is me saying thank you for the cheese, man. I really do upper because I want to show my appreciation. So I just want to uh, say that because I see sometimes I send roses. I sometimes I send it to Shadi Bay. Sometimes I send it to other people. It doesn't mean I like them. I don't have a crush on them. It's just me sending it as in tippy for cheese man but it appears that melody this is the first time i feel like she ever like kind of like addressed me in a sense because i feel like she hates me and i was sending her some flowers and she said get out of here da, da. i was just trying to be appreciative and they were ungrateful i said how you gonna embarrass me in front of fourteen thousand people really fool really fool you could have just said take and appreciate the flowers fool really <sighs> Sorry, I just had a vent about that. But aside from that, the real thing that she was actually spilling in the cheese, man, she was saying that Arnoir has, uh, he's on that small, small, and I'll go. She was saying that he's on a little bit on the smaller spectrum. And a little bit of a reference to maybe uh, similar to Galvancillo is what she's saying with the Camarón. And I said, what? Now, my thing is this. 
I don't understand a why, you know, sometimes people get out of a relationship and then they start bashing and they'll be like, your cocodrilos were not even that. They weren't even cocodrilin or your, your yacares was not yacares. But you guys dated. You loved it for how many years? Two years? You were with her for two years? Aside from that, I don't understand how Candy, I don't know if she's seen this or not, but this uh, Miss Melody was talking so vulgar. People sizes, yada, yada, yada. I think that was very inappropriate and immature on Melody's part. Yeah, feel me? I don't think you should scoop down to that level. And another thing that she mentions that she paid for his singing classes and he still sounds like a pajarito that you step on, a, a chihuahua you step on. Ah, ah, ah. What did you pay for? Go to singing class or something. Guys, I even paid for a singing class trying to apoy his fucking dreams. I wasted six hundred dollars. Like I wasted six hundred dollars on his ass. <laughs> What exactly did you? I think they scammed you. She says she gave him the chains because she he needed to pay back uh, the sister because he crashed the sister's car. So you did all that and you still want to be unappreciative of my my virtual roses? Come caca de la masa guada y you guys go on live i love joining people's lives and sending gifts sometimes sometimes i do just join literally a random person so if i ever join your live and you ever see Pancho does it better that is me i just love joining random lives and sending donations i love seeing people's reactions but aside from that did you guys see also more tea that was being spilled now a lot of people are always like who's willito who's shawty bay who's the you guys need to understand right now as we speak in the cheese community we lito shoddy bay gia and all those tiktokers are right here and the ones that we do cover alondra let's do makeup all those other flag and dublins there's levels to the cheese right now and right now they're pop they're they're right here and my Cheetos are right here. So we always have to transition with the flow of the rhythm. So you have to learn the new characters. Yeah, feel me? It's like a storyline. You're in the character. You're reading a book. A new character comes up. Learn the damn character. But aside from that, Gia Prashadi Bay. And also was uh, exposing Mr. Wilito, I guess. My I have people telling me that you talk shit about me. What? It's not a girl twerking on somebody. A girl. She has a whole boyfriend. People are like commenting, like mad commenting that you were talking shit about me the day of the boat. Oh my. Dicen, dicen que tú dijiste que yo era easy. What's easy? Is that girl? Like just me being easy, you know, like when a girl is easy. Oh no, I did not say that. I don't think I said that. Pero, so what do you say? Like, be honest with me. Be straight up, like, you know? Um, I don't remember what I thought to be honest. I, I did forget This is not, you gotta, you gotta, I, I think about this a lot. I think about first impressions a lot. Because once you lie to someone in their face or you give them a bad impression, then you can never change that. You know what I mean? You know? Well, I just so if you're gonna to say it. If you're gonna think here and lie to me about something, then I don't want it. You know what I mean? Yep. Just be straight up with me. Like, it is what it is. You didn't know me. I didn't know you, like, honestly, I mean, I didn't. I was just saying when I was looking at the videos. Right, and I was taking out of context in those videos. Yeah, we leave I'm not friends with him anymore. Oh, no, I was... what happened? Well, he found me on TikTok, right? Yeah. And, like, he commented, like, Hermosa on one of my TikToks, right? And I didn't, I didn't even see the comment until my friend told me, like, oh, like, Wilito is following you. And I was like, who's Wilito? And my friend sees her live. My best friend is here. Like she's seen his lives, right? And she was like, "Oh, I watch his lives. Like they go crazy sometimes." Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Oh." And then I was like, "Then I'ma follow him back, right? I'm not to Hollywood or anything." Entonces yo dije, "Lo voy a seguir para atrás, verdad?" Y luego me meto a Instagram, and he had already texted me. Like he had already like texted me on Instagram. Oh my god. Uh huh. And then. He was like, hola, and then I was like, hola, and then we like just started talking as friends. Entonces, así, así quedó. And he basically like asked me to come see me in Nebraska. Oh, my, oh wait, you live there? Yeah, I live in Nebraska. <laughs> I was telling you, so he was like trying to come see me, right? And I just didn't, I just didn't like want to because he was such a kid to me. Like his mentality was such a kid. Cuando yo hablé con él y me di cuenta que literal era, era así su personalidad como en los lives, yo dije de que, oh, so you are like that, so you literally a child. 
Ya, o sea, eres un niño, o sea, tu mentalidad, o sea, deja los números, aside. Él me dijo que si podía, que, que si venía, y así, y yo le dije, pues, que... Pues le cambiaba el tema y ya. And then when I started talking to Galvan, he just basically unfollowed me and like I'm mad for that. But I was never, I was never nothing with him. So I don't understand why he would like get mad at me for. Now she was pressing Shadi Bay. She said, weren't you saying some foo foo about me? And then Shadi Bay, you can see got a little bit nervous, but then eventually did tell her sorry about that. I was talking that. But aside from that, the whole, her, she was exposing Mr. Wilito. I, to me personally, I want to say this, me personally, I don't think. Mr. Wilito did anything wrong, you feel me? And I heard her mention something about him being a child. Mr. Galvan is no different from Wilito. I think they're like on the same level of, ch of childness. So you can't call Wilito a child when you're dating a child. Child. But she was basically saying like, oh my God, he, uh, I don't know why he don't follow me. Okay, if you're in a relationship, I'm gonna put you guys in the mindset of a guy, okay? Because sometimes some girls see that we unfollow you and then you're like, oh, pues come caca pues, you wanna unfollow me? Okay. It's really not that serious. Sometimes we follow you guys. We try to shoot our shot or something. Sometimes y'all post a boyfriend. And out of respect, we don't want to see that fofo. <laughs> it's not that we're mad. It's not that, oh, you're big mad. It's not that we're big mad. It's just we genuinely don't want to see that fufu. We don't want to be your fan. And it's just as simple as that. There's no need to get but her, no hard feelings. And unfollow is just an unfollow. Sometimes I unfollow someone and then they DM me. Hey, I saw that you unfollow me. Really, fool. Really, fool. I unfollowed you for a reason, fool. Somebody unfollows you, remember, don't think of it too much. It's never that serious. It just an unfollow. Move on with your day. And the next thing we're actually talking about, did you guys see with Mr. Julian Barbosa and now how he's moving on so fast from his old girlfriend? And this happened. Is your man with me and my friend both got your man, bitch? <laughs> Not just me, but me and my friend. What's embarrassing? People who's mad over a nigga that didn't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're both bad. We both know what we're doing. Now, if I was a new girlfriend and I'm seeing all this boo boo, to be honest, this will help me move on. That probably speeded up the process by 10. Because if I'm seeing my ex going all over the place, double dipping, me personally, I will move on. It would help me move on a lot faster. And it just makes them look immature. You feel me? But for the world news, did you guys see if you do live in Spain? We do have a 0.1% people from Spain. Uh, you guys better be careful because there's going to be a heat wave again. And this is going to break records. My. So my prayers do go out to the people out in Spain. Hopefully you guys do manage in this heat and everybody else that are dealing with hot weather. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video here for you guys. Remember to smack a like because remember some people don't appreciate my virtual roses. So if you guys do appreciate my videos, at least smack a like for a brother. Follow my social medias and I really do appreciate you guys. Yo, onda Betty? So yo, el caca, guiando mija, que onda contigo? Me estoy riendo, mija, de lo, de lo que me dijiste en qué trabajabas, ¿por qué eres tan mala? Pues sí, te pregunto en qué trabajas y me dices, muevo vacas, ¿cómo que mueves vacas? Soy instructora de zumba, ¡Nie! se van a enojar las sumeras, les dijeron vacas, ¡Nie! oye, mija, ¿qué onda, mija? No seas así, mija, eres un vera, hombre, también, hombre, este, eh, te invito a comer, mija. Te invito a comer, ándale. Ándale, mija. Te invito a zumbarnos unos tacos. ¡Nia! Ándale, Betty. Vamos. Vamos a comer. Olvídate de la zumba, hombre. Como quiera. En la zumba nunca va a haber resultados. ¡Nia! Nunca hay resultados. Siempre también me timbonas. ¡Nia! Ándale, mija. No seas así. Ya, vamos. Vamos, estoy jugando, hombre. No te enojes. Vamos. Ándale, voy a llevar un bolsón. <ríe> Para bajar avión. <ríe> Ándale, mija, no te enojes. Vamos. Ándale, órale. Yo paso por ti o qué? Pero vas un ratito a la zumba. No, hombre, ir ahí, ahí deja el carro y, y te vas, nos vamos en el mío nomás. No entres. <ríe> no entres. <ríe> no, no entres. <ríe> ah, esas son las del gym. <ríe> esas son las del gym. Las del gym son las que van y se van en otro carro. <ríe> no, bueno, mija. Órale, ahí paso. Ahí está el cuartito color de rosa. Ah, ok. Está bueno. Yo paso por ti, mija. Órale. Ahora sí va, va a roncar el sapo. Como cuando agarra aire. Con una vaca. Con una zumbera. ¡Nie!